Hi, my name is Grania and you're watching CTN. Today I'll be asking UCD students what their favourite horror movies are and how they cope in a zombie apocalypse. Would you stay in the house or would your plan be more like take car, go to mum's, kill Phil, grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint and wait for all this to go blow over? And also, what would be your weapon of choice? A crossbow? A chainsaw attached to your arm? Uh, some unwanted records? We'll be finding out today. So Emma, what's your favourite horror movie? Uh, Psycho by Hitchcock. And why would that be your favourite? It's a classic and also it's kind of like very iconic seeing the heroine's gone the first like 15 minutes. So I did last year as well on Hitchcock the film tutorial and I really liked it, probably more about it and I really enjoyed it. And what would you do in say a zombie apocalypse? Um, I try and run away and hide as much as possible. Like I wouldn't want to see the zombies in case I get eaten. I quite like being alive. So I'd probably run and hide like in a lake or something because I'd probably just drown. And what would be your say weapon of choice if you did have to defend yourself? Um, from Call of Duty, for my friends and Call of Duty, I'd say a crossbow or a flamethrower. Crossbow is a bit like Daryl Dixon in Walking Dead, so that is a good idea. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favourite horror movie? I'd have to say The Woman in Black with Daniel Radcliffe. And why would that be your favourite? Because I sat in front, I sat with my jacket in front of my face for the entire thing. I was scared witless, so. <laughs> As a sign of a good movie. <laughs> and what would your favourite horror movie be? I really like the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. They're really good. It's kind of creepy because like he attacks you in your dreams, so. Exactly. <laughs> That's actually so scary. And also, how would you cope, say, in a zombie apocalypse? Very, very badly. Yeah, I wouldn't be ready for it at all. And like, what would be your weapon of choice? What would you go for first thing if you were to look for a weapon, maybe? Um, a kitchen knife, I guess. But I don't know if they'd work on zombies. I don't really. Probably to the head would be great. <laughs> and how about you? Like, how would you cope in a zombie apocalypse? Well, I can't run, so I'd probably just end up giving up and surrendering. So I'd probably be dead pretty quickly. <laughs> And if you were to pick a weapon like that you'd go for straight away, what would it be? Or? Probably a chainsaw if I could find one. That would be a really good one. <laughs> Very good. That, you know, like, they're already dead. How do you kill the dead? <laughs> so guys, what are your favourite horror movies? Um, 28 Days Later would be my favourite movie. And why would that be your favourite? Um, I think it's because it's so realistic and it's just scary because you feel it could actually happen. It's definitely a very good movie. And how about yours? What's your favourite horror movie? Mine would be the exact same. <laughs> I'm terrified of zombies though. Like, terrified of zombies. So, you know, like <laughs> so speaking of zombies, how would you cope in, say, a zombie apocalypse? Um, I don't know. Just run, basically. And just forget about your friends and family and just run. <laughs> and what would be your weapon of choice, say? Um, uh, I don't know, golf club or something simple maybe or something, I don't know. That's good choice. And how about you, like how would you cope in a zombie apocalypse, what would you do? I'd get a boat. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rob a boat and go out to the middle of the sea and then just fish and stuff for food. And yeah. It's really good, be like self-sufficient and everything. Also. And what would be your weapon if you had to get, like use them then? An axe, definitely, because you have to get the brain. So. <laughs> Thanks very much guys, thank you.